coming from all over the world, and I mentioned their names now and then you can see, to pay tribute to the king. And who was that king? Darius the Great. I'm starting from the back. So the closer we go, the closer we get to the palace, the more important these dignitaries or these satrapies are. Okay? So we're starting from the last, which is over here. By the way, before I start, can you see here the leader? Okay, there is one leader here. There is another leader here. So one leader, you can see, he is a Persian. Okay? And he's holding the hold of the satrapy. Do you see what I mean? So really, he's not saying, come, follow me. No, the Iranians, as I told you before, they are so friendly, so loving. He is holding the hand, truly. He's holding the hand of the satrapy and he is directing him towards the palace. Basically, these are Ethiopians, okay? And they are bringing okapi. Okapi is a smaller than uh, what they call it, a giraffe, okay? Much smaller than the, yeah, But it looks like it. No, it looks like a giraffe. Ah. So they are bringing okapi, and as you can see from their features, they look very much like Africans. And also, can you see this is elephant tusk, okay? So that's what they are bringing. Each satrapy is divided by another satrapy by a tree. Do you see? And what kind of tree is this? Cypress. Cypress. Well done. <laughs> Cypress tree. Something that if you remember, I said Zarathustra, the prophet of the, uh, you know, Zoroastrian. He said, if you plant one Cypress tree, you go to heaven. So we have the Ethiopians. Then we have here, we have the Libyans. The Libyans, they are bringing antelope. Does everyone see it? Over here. They are bringing antelope and they are bringing a, a chariot as well uh, for the king. After them, we have the uh, Drangians here. The Drangians is Sistan and Baluchistan of today. They are near Pakistan uh, border and they are bringing a bull. Do you see? They are bringing a bull and some shields that they are bringing. But again, what I'd like to point, can you see how beautifully he's holding his hand? Look how nicely he's holding that. <coughs> These people are the Arabs. The Arabs are bringing dromedary. Dromedary is one humped uh, uh, camel. So they are bringing dromedary uh, so, so, uh, with them. These people are um, Macedonians. The Macedonians are bringing spear in their hand and shields, as you can see, and some kind of animal skin over there that you can see in their hand. And a stallion, of course, they are bringing with them. And again, as you can see, the lion boring uh, a bull, the sign or the emblem of actually this uh, uh, palace. Who do we have here, guys? Come on, yes. Yes. I kiss the one who says the answer. Egyptian. No. 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 This, <coughs> Ori. Okay, no one would be able to guess. Median. No, medians are much further. These are Indians. Oh. As you can see, the Indians are the ones that are not where they are topless on the top. They are bringing donkey, okay? But what these gorgeous Indians are bringing for us, can you see this? Why? No, Jewelry. some people say, Gold. good girl, I love you. That's what I say as well. But many people say they are bringing herbs to here. I don't like that. I prefer gold dust from the industry. Doesn't that sound good? I prefer that. So he, they are actually bringing gold uh, to here. These are Sogdians. Sogdians are the Uzbekistan of today. So they are bringing some uh, sort of, as you, oh, look at that. We'll see better ones. These are actually armlets, but I'll show you some nicer ones. This, which I'm not going to talk about it a lot, but it's kind of a short sword, okay, that they are bringing uh, for the king. The ones which is on the top, this sections, okay, these are Yazd of today. 
Yaz people, they live very much near the, uh, the desert area. And the Yazdis, even up to this day, they are very famous for silk textile. And look what they are bringing for the king. Exactly textile. Okay, Bactrian people. Look at that gorgeous Bactrian camel. Look how beautiful the artist has actually made it. And look at these wonderful balls, either gold or silver, that they are holding in their hand. Look at the artist, how he actually carved the earrings, which is inside the, um, you know, their ear. Look at their hair bands. The reason I'm showing you all this, because people, unfortunately, they just pass by it and they don't realize how beautifully these are actually made. These are Gandrians from Kandahar of today. Kandahar, near Afghanistan. Uh, this is actually people from what we call Aryans, from area, from uh, Khorasan region. They are bringing camel again. These groups are Ionians from Ionia, and they are bringing some material beehives. Do you see that? Beehives in their hands that they are bringing. And also they are bringing these wonderful bows. And these, if you look at their hairstyle, straight on the top, but they have perm at the back and perm right, you know, uh, at the front of their hair. These people is what we call pointed hat Scythians. And these were really nasty people. In fact, they were these people, the Scythians, that they killed Cyrus the Great. He was killed actually by them. The only nations, people pay attention, the only nations which unfortunately the top section is missing and it was destroyed because of the fire that Alexander the Great put to this palace is the Egyptians. Unfortunately, they would have looked absolutely gorgeous. But the Egyptians' top section is being missing. Someone asked me about restoration in this place. The only place that being restored is this area, okay? So this was done in the 1930s. Okay. People from Cappadocia or Cappadocia, from Turkey, I adore these people because if you come forward, look, they are wearing a gown, but can you see that needle that, you know, that keeping the gown together over there? Oh, yeah. Look at the horse that they are, or the stallion. Look at the, the back of the tail of the horse <laughs> that they've done it. Look at the front. Basically, the artist has copied every single detail of these nations that they brought in. Look at his hat, okay? This hat, if they open at the front, these are horse riders. If they open the back there, he can cover his face. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. yeah? So that is actually, if he opens the top, he can cover his face and he can do uh, the horse riding. This group are Cilicians. They are, look at these gorgeous ramps that they are bringing. Look at the detail, every single detail. Even the guys, the two men that are bringing the rams, look at the tie which is on their shoes. Do you all see that? Beautifully, beautifully done. Arachosians on the top. Nothing much special about them because they are repeated from the others. These are Ionian, oh sorry, uh, Lydians, I'm sorry. These are Lydians. The reason I love those, look at the detail and look at the expense. Lydians, they were the most, the richest, if you like, in the history of uh, different civilizations. They had lots of gold. And every country, including Persia, they had their eyes on them, like the Indians of, you know, 17th century. Uh, Lydians of that, you know, BC, they were very rich. And look what kind of gold. Look at that vase. On either side of the vase, you have, what is this? The griffin. Do you remember the griffins that we saw? So there is a griffin there, a griffin there. And also, look at this armlet. Double-headed griffins on either side of the armlet. Look at their hat. But most importantly, can you see that lock? which is coming behind their ears. Who does that? 
Who does that? Who does the lock, long lock? Jewish. Do you see the Jewish people that they have the lock around, you know? That's what they have over there as well. Okay? These guys are Babylonians from Babylonia. They are bringing, look at that wonderful material. They are bringing for the king and they are bringing a, a bull as well. And then we have Arachosians right in the top. These gorgeous Armenians, these were really, really, look at the Armenians, look at that wonderful gold vase. By the way, guys, if you want to see that vase, exactly that, go to Louvre. In the Louvre Museum, they have that gold vase, and also in the British Museum, but they have the smaller size, they have that size. But this large one is actually uh, in Louvre. This group, someone mentioned uh, about uh, the, you know, the meats are not over there. Okay, look at this group. What are they bringing? They are bringing uh, a lion and two lioness. Can you see how angry the lioness is? <laughs> yes, uh, no, I, I, I said it wrong, sorry. Uh, lioness and two cups. Look at the lioness, how she is looking at her two cups. She knows the future. She knows what's going to happen her, to her two cups. She's very angry because they are actually taking her two cups for the king and the king is going to kill her. Someone mentioned the needs. The best group, the one the king actually totally admired, is the needs. And the reason the Medes were very close to the Achaemenians is because the mother of Cyrus the Great, she was a Median princess. So Cyrus the Great's son was mixed of a Persian and a Median. So that's why we have the closest group to the palace is the Medes. 